If you use light or flash as a filmmaker or photographer, you're probably familiar with softboxes. They come in various sizes and are great for getting that Rembrandt shape to your subject, especially for interviews and portrait shots. But what do we do if we need an ambient light source to evenly light a whole room? That's where a lantern softbox comes in handy. You might be asking, why not just use an umbrella as a diffuser? It's probably the cheapest modifier out there. But when you use an umbrella, due to the fact that it's an open modifier, there's going to be uneven spillage and it's going to be harder to control the light. So depending on how large or small your room is, you may not want that. So the lantern or a regular softbox for that matter will give you a little bit more control over a, an open umbrella modifier. Now Per Gear were kind enough to send this lantern softbox over to me to test out and uh, I've been using it quite a lot on some client shoots over the past month or so. I've got to say that this thing has been very handy in quickly helping me light small to medium sized rooms really easily when I'm attaching it to my Aperture 120D. In some cases I felt I needed a little bit more light but that's not the lantern's fault. I probably needed a high power LED like the 300D which would have probably been a better option. Don't get me wrong I prefer directional softboxes. You can be way more creative with it as a key light but when you need to disperse an even ambient light to illuminate a room quickly and effectively you're probably going to reach for a lantern. For a good spread of light if you have the headroom hang it vertically like a huge light bulb and play around with the placement too. It's such a handy lighting tool. Assembling the lantern is very easy. Just pop the frame into the white diffuser cover, make sure the poles align with the cover, wrap the elastic band parts over the plate like so, then push down and hook the middle beam section to the center bracket like so. Very quick setup. It is ideal for fast paced run and gun shoots. Overall, I love how easy this thing is to set up and I've used it in a ton of client work. And in fact, I now take this lantern with me on all shoots. For the price, you can't really go wrong with it. I'll put the link to it in the description below for you guys. Let's do a little comparison test, shall we? So easy to assemble, I love it. So this is the normal softbox, it gives you that nice Rembrandt here, but if you notice the background it's very dark and this is the lantern, a lot more evenly lit. Probably notice the background is uh, lighter as well. The lantern is in the same position as a softbox. So what do you guys think? Now I did manage to accidentally break one of the elastic band parts to the diffuser cover though. I think it was due to a bit of user error on my part, unfortunately. So to avoid that problem, I recommend unhooking the elastic around the plates before you attach the lantern to the light so it won't eventually rub, damage and break over time. And that's it folks, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, hell smash it if you want to, and I'll see you in the next one.